Okay, today I'm going to show you guys something new from Huma. Huma made some new uh, barrel inlets with a dual port for 35 caliber and these are the prototypes all right I asked him to make some of these to see how it would help the performance and as you can see they're made with the same perfection as everything else human makes um, so this is a 35 caliber M3 that I tuned up for a friend recently and it was shooting at around 926, 925, 928. Now it's shooting the pellets at 944 and that's like about 160 foot pounds. That's the uh, FX pellets. These are the special ones with the new red label. These are the magic uh, 81 grain pellets. And uh, these are the best shooting slugs. I mean hole in hole. Same point of impact as the pellets, which is fantastic if you can find a slug that'll hit the target in the same exact spot your pellets do you're doing great so these are the 93 grain nsa hollow points they're shooting at 870 880 feet per second that's about 156 157 foot pounds and let's see what else can i tell you as you can see i took my luthar grip off my own rifle and put it on this rifle for my friend as a little Christmas present seeing how today's Christmas Eve and he let me borrow this rifle to put this new uh, uh, parts on there they shipped me two sets for testing I put one set on this rifle and I'm gonna put the other set on another friend's rifle and try it too one of the things I want to show you guys too was the uh, new pin probe. I guess you can see that. It looks perfect. And it works perfect. No jams, no hesitation on pellets or slugs. Just perfect. Um, and you can also see this crawfish lips uh, cocking block. Or, excuse me, not cocking block. It's like a pellet probe holder block. Sorry, I misspoke there. Uh, and what that is, I re it's a replacement for the factory probe block, probe holder, whatever they call it. This is much more robust. I recommend everybody with an FX impact take the factory one off and put on one of these from Crawfish Lips. And uh, that way you won't ever have to worry about your screws coming loose to your probe coming loose. This keeps your probe lined up absolutely perfectly each and every time it enters the barrel. You see that? I don't know if you can see that or not. Maybe I'm holding the camera right or not. See that? So you're going to love that. Anyway, uh, one of the things I wanted to tell you too is a 79 grain NSA shoot okay, but those 93 are just hole in hole. All right. So I give you a little side view over here. Once again, I'll praise this FX radar 
this is the most fantastic chronograph you're ever going to own. I'll tell you what, it just puts all the other ones to shame. Now for indoors use, I still use my uh, Pro Chrono with the lights, with the infrared lights on it. Because when I'm doing testing in my living room at 15 feet, this FX radar gives you wonky readings. Simply because there's not enough distance. The, you know, the projectile's not flying out far enough away for it to really read it correctly. But for everything else besides indoor close range, I'll tell you what, you cannot beat that FX radar. It's the best thing since sliced bread. And you can also see a little side plate I put on there for my buddy. It says, powered by human air. As I've told you guys before, if you want an accurate consistent rifle put a human regulator in it or send me your gun and I'll put one in for you all right and you guys want me to build your rifle it shoots like this one you got my email address in the description below Merry Christmas to one and all